Now our Sunday spotlight shining this week on Senegal's Gori Island, one of President Obama's most emotional stops on his visit to Africa this week. Just a short ferry ride from Senegal's capital lies Gori Island, a tiny speck of land whose history belies its colonial charm. For African Americans in particular, Gori Island has become a symbol of three centuries of brutal, inhumane slave trading on the west coast of Africa. White House reporter April Ryan has come here with three different U.S. presidents. What, what does this place mean to you? This is your third time back here. I'm five generations removed from the last known slave in my family, and he was sold on the auction block in Fayetteville, North Carolina. As we talk, I'm getting goosebumps. A long list of VIPs have made pilgrimages here, among them President Bill Clinton, President George W. Bush, and of course, President Barack Obama. Also, Pope John Paul II and Nelson Mandela. When Mandela came here, just a year after he himself had been freed from prison, he insisted on coming into here, one of the small cells that was used to punish slaves accused of misbehaving. He spent some time in here alone. When he emerged, he had tears in his eyes. But Gory Island's true role in the slave trade is mired in controversy. Locals have claimed millions of slaves bound in chains were shipped from here to the New World. However, archaeological research has cast doubt on that, and historians say it was never a major departure point for slave ships. The best known landmark here is the House of Slaves. Like so many others, President Obama peered out the slave house's back door across the ocean traversed by slave ships sailing from West Africa to the New World. Historians differ about what exactly happened right here at what has become known as the door of no return, but it's come to symbolize the last step that millions of Africans made as they left the shores of this continent onto slavery in strange lands beyond the ocean. This house of slaves have been built in 1776. Even the curator who showed the house of slaves to President Obama acknowledges that its role in the slave trade may have been exaggerated. So it doesn't really matter how many slaves actually came through that door, that point. 2,000 no slaves and 2 million slaves, it will be the same. It's going to be the same, exactly in terms of principle. And that is why American presidents have come here to mark the darkest chapter of American history. America's struggle to overcome slavery and its legacy forms one of the most difficult chapters of that history. My nation's journey toward justice has not been easy, and it is not over. We have to remain vigilant uh, when it comes to the defense of people's human rights. This is a, a testament to when we're not vigilant uh, in defense of uh, what's right, what can happen. And now we honor our fellow Americans who serve and sacrifice. This week, the Pentagon released the names of three soldiers killed in Afghanistan and Qatar. That's all for us today. Thanks for sharing part of your Sunday with us. Check out World News with David Muir tonight from San Francisco. George is back next week, and we hope you will be too.